you guys see one right here, love? Yeah. Just here, I think. You ready? A little shy, there it was. Yeah, I thought it was a little shy, but I don't think it cares. They're just nose right into that shelf, eh? Just absolutely phenomenal. Three casts, three fish. Yeah. Awesome. Hey guys, so after a week of it being pretty cloudy, we've got a broken sky day and uh, you know, we've just seen a couple rises and we decided to pull into this likely looking spot, hey, and just have a go. Yeah, basically the river just braids uh, around this gravel bar here and the inside seam has a really amazing gravel shelf. Hey? Yeah, oh, it really does. Just a perfect shelving riffle and you know, a spot where most trout are just gonna nose in and feed. Yeah, so what we decided to do, um, this video is going to basically be about sight fishing fish rainbow trout that are cruising looking for sporadically drift nymphs off of that shelving riffle and they're going to cycle through and cycle through and I'm going to basically work slowly and I'm going to pick off a bunch of rainbow trout with dry flies and dropper nymphs and I'm going to walk you through how I do it moving slow what I'm looking for and we're going to have a we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Oh hell and Dave's <laughs> confident because it's the kind of water you can be the yeah. fish have got to be there and the sun is there and the fish are there, yeah. you know, a few fish are rising I know yeah. there's some fish there so I'm going to go out there and basically do a bit of a smudge hunt a rise hunt and I'm just going to I I, I bet you I'm gonna get a few fish anyway. <laughs> oh yeah. shelving riffle here just up ahead of me yeah it's just a split and the river and a little island of gravel out there and there's been you know we don't have much of a hatch yet today but blue-winged olives and March browns are coming off with the occasional squallow stone fly and flying red ant and they're just nose into this shelf I mean it's just it, you can't make a better 
a better spot for trout habitat and the fish are just going to nose into that long gravel shelving ripple been a couple fish rising and um we were just fishing and really got a nice one i lost a, a nice one and then we saw a couple more fish rise so i thought you know what let's let's pull out the cameras and see if we can share this little experience that we're having okay well we were just up in here and fish i saw rising a little bit more it's just up at the head here it doesn't you know i don't want normally i wouldn't say just go at the best stuff well that's what i'm going to do right here and just see oh that's a nice fish across the way just rose then you got hers just up in here another rise over there so they are going um we'll see just up on the inside to start hmm this guy was up in here wasn't he love wow that's such a defined shelf you should should be able to see the fish right now. Honestly, there's one there. Oh, wow. oh yeah, I can see them. <laughs> okay. okay, that's different. Cool. Here we go. Yep, that's the one I saw. Oh, bugger. <laughs> that was the one I saw. I was staring right at it. It was like, ah, oh well. Okay, I see, see another one here, I think. There's a couple here. Right to them. <laughs> nice. As I was saying, home delivery. Perfect. What fish doesn't like home delivery? Yeah, he does. Just a little guy, but hey, that's a nice fish. Just sitting on that shelf. Whoa! Come on, girl. There we go. <laughs> that's awesome. Get this fish going so I can do another, another home delivery on the next fish over across the way there. Sweet. I will on the release here, love. Here we go. Nice. Ready? Yeah. Awesome. Look at. Well, I'll try another one. <laughs> go for it. Yeah. As long as that sun stays out, I can see the shadows. Shadow. Shadows. <laughs> the shadows. Okay. Well, let's not lose that. Let's not lose that sunlight, baby. Come on now. Gotta find another smudgio before that sun disappears. Oh, that's a really good fish that just rose at the tongue of the island. Oh, really? That's the one we oh, have there's, seen then. There's another one. He just rose. Perfect. I don't see anybody here, so I'm just going to go for this. A little shy. I think there's one. Oh, there is. This one guy right here. There we go. That should be on him. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> just like that. Sweet. Yeah. Well, when you can see them like that, yeah. hey, it's just, they're just lined up Yeah. Them. They're feeding, they're not shy. You can see them. They're waiting for the hatch. Yeah. Off anything coming through there. A little pre-hatch on the nymphs and yeah. I think there's a couple more over there yet too, but let's just see if we can get this guy in. Nice. Whee! About same size. Little bit bigger. Okay. Wow, where was that? Yeah, I heard <laughs> that. That sounded better. Yeah. Shapers, eh? Awesome. Yeah. It, yeah. Here we go. Awesome, <laughs> that was fun. Oh, well, there goes my sunlight. I'm going to have to wait another minute for more sun, but yeah, they're definitely going to show up. Yep. Awesome. They're there. Guys, see one right here, love. Yeah. Just here, I think. You ready? A little shy. There it was. Yeah. I thought it was a little shy, but I don't think it cares. They're just nose right into that shelf, wow, eh? Just, going just absolutely phenomenal. Yep. Three calves, three fish. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. Yeah, it's starting. They're just looking for those blue winged olives and March Browns, the Clinger nymphs coming off that riffle upstream. Just nosed in. Awesome. How fun is this, hey? It's really Yeah, well, that's what I love. Obviously, I don't want to move around too much because I don't want to, nope. you know, don't want to do too much it's in the way of, yeah. <laughs> well, not this, that, the mud. I don't want to oh, send yeah. mud yeah, all the way through. Nah. Yeah. It's a nice little fish. Hot, hot, hot. Tennis racket. <laughs> Had to turn the old tennis racket around. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> ah, that's fun. 
I'm gonna wait for the sun to come out. So just as I stand here, you know, the, the shelf, the meat of the shelf kind of comes across at an angle like that. And you go, well, how are you seeing these things, Dave? Well, you know water goes in a, flows in a straight line, and most of this is just gravel, fine gravel, with a bit of larger rock. And anything, as that sun comes out like that, you, you know your colors, tan, tea to green, tea to green, or blue, whatever you want to call it. Anything that's a vertical or longitudinal shape, like this right here, roll it, love, right there has a chance, that's behind them. I'm just gonna go again, right in there. There we go. Anything that's got a longitudinal shape like that wow, is a fish. And they're just nosed in there, surfing around, looking for blue-winged olives. And that one <laughs> was as patently obvious as could be to me, you know? <laughs> so that's, that's the quick lesson. I'm gonna So I'm just standing here, <laughs> literally right at the toe of the slope here and most people think well you're, you're you're way too close actually i'm too close to the camera is what i am but if you look i'm kind of there's a there's a rise of gravel between me and where i'm fishing and those fish have just been nosed into that shelf right all along there and all i'm doing is standing here and, and because they're active rainbows i know that they're active rainbows so i'm just waiting for them to surf back and forth across the the dip of that shelf feeding because they're looking for blue and dollars, they're looking for March brown nymphs, they're looking for anything that's about to hatch. And we've got this huge, you know, huge storm upstream that's gonna get us eventually. And I'm just basically doing the pre-hatch thing. That there's some there's some olives that have coming off and some a few March browns. But as soon as those clouds come, you know, they, all hell could break loose here. And that's really what we're waiting for. That see that fish over there keeps yeah. that one. Ooh, that's, that's it's a really good fish over there. We'll get to him eventually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think right now, just on this seam right in front of me, I've got a gray smudge right on the bottom, about a rod and a half there. <laughs> and he just froze. Okay, so that was a fish. Let's see if he'll come to my little blue and olive pattern here. And in the zone. And there he was. Now, I missed that one outright because that was a downstream take. But let's see if he comes again. Maybe, maybe he didn't feel that. Yeah, right, Dave. Now, what ends up happening is these rainbows definitely move around quite a bit. And just because they, they rise on spot, but they might surf across that shelf two or three feet. And after they rise, they could be five or six feet further over. So I'm just going to wait until I see the smudge again, or a rise, of course. But yeah, um, that's basically the tail of the tape on these, on these gravel shelves. There's a fish over there that just kind of came through. Let's see if I can lead that fish and entice it to the top. Three seconds, come up. No, let's try that again. Ah, Davy, that was not a good cast, sorry. Let's get this just upstream reach, man. Reach cast, hanky doodles. Okay, might have to go with a bigger fly to get this guy to come back up, right on him, right on him. Yep. <laughs> Took no three. bigger fly needed. <laughs> What's that? No bigger fly needed. No, no kidding, hey? Oh, there we go. He just moved right in. I could watch his smudge come right off that shelf and across and station, and it took him three casts to eat it, but he did dund it. He did undo that. He did. He dudded it. Sweet. Oof, I almost jammed the reel handle. That would have been dumb. No, they really move around, these fish, when they're actively feeding. And just a light hatch, you know, even though it's sunny out here, and uh, yeah, March browns and olives are more of a dark day kind of a hatch, there's still a few hatching. And while well, they're up in the r gravel riffle above this shelf, and these fish are just moving in using that angled drop-off zone to nose into, and they're just going back and forth across, across that shelf feeding and looking for the for the free uh free nymphs free drift nymphs i guess you'd have to say yeah okay that's a nice fish actually not huge but a, just a really nice fish there we go girl there nice sweet i'm, not I'm so sorry three brilliant and you, uh you got anytime, here we go, go for it, yeah. <laughs> okay, you didn't like it. <laughs> Wicked. 
That's, That's cool. funny. Yeah, so now I've just tied on a little pheasant tail with a couple copper crystal flash strands and that's what about 18 inches underneath just a big old march brown pattern and the whole time that i was tying that fly on there was a gray smudge right in here it's kind of moved off right now but there's been a few that have kind of come well if i pointed like that i'd be right on its head with my rod tip so the whole time i've just basically been watching i think he's there now there is a dark spot across from me here i you know usually dark spots they're out of they're out of they're out of position out of place you know it's not like there's all sorts of big dark rocks so let's just kind of hang that there he was yep that's the dark spot i was talking about <laughs> it's out of shape it's out of place right anytime that you have a consistency of color of tea to green uh brown to the you know the tea on the shallower rocks upstream into this deep blue pocket or or green you know again what are, what's out of shape is it or what's out of place is it the shape is it movement is it color what's out of there he goes whatever um you know but that's the whole point if you're gonna if you're gonna come out here again if you look up here you probably can't see much with that but it's all uniform uniform gravel uniform rock uniform color all the way through there and if suddenly there's a dark patch well yeah that's a fish so you just have to make sure that you lead it right you know, in, in certain cases, because that fish was holding on the far side of this main seam into that flat water, I had to high stick. And that's why I have that long leader, just to allow me to high stick, keep it in the air, and just keep that drift in the zone long enough. And, well, guess what? The, the dry fly went down, and, well, I'm going to go try to find another one. Another one moving in here. So he's just right in here. I can see his smudge. See if I can get that right on his nose here. No. Go again right on his nose yeah that's two of them does he want to eat that go one more time yeah am i going to be deep enough is he looking for oh no he's looking for the <laughs> he wants the dry fly <laughs> it's amazing you can just watch these things moving in and out in and out in and out and it's like yeah so if you just hang out here for long enough you're gonna see a bunch of rainbows i mean how can there not be just dozens of rainbows lined up along this stuff into that deep pocket and if you know, you replace one fish, well, guess what? Another one's gonna move in after this one eats your dry fly. <laughs> That's awesome. Here we go. Ready. Here we go. Nice. Click it. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the sun's coming out. I better get out back on my spotting position again here. <laughs> it's, yeah, yeah, it's going pretty good. <laughs> oh, they are. They really are. Okie dokie. So that sun is away which means looking for grayer smudges grayer out of place things and i think there's one right there to be honest with you but i can't be sure that looks like something i'm just gonna slowly move my feet in here I, that might be a fish let's just see hard to know oh yeah that was a fish <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Sitting right there. Right there. <laughs> oh, right at your feet. Unbelievable, eh? Uh -huh. You gotta love so that. They, geez, they move around a lot. This is, yeah, they're just strapping on the feed bags now, hey? No, he came up on the dry. Wow. The first one took the nymph. Yeah, just strapping it on. Oops, better do this real quick. There we go. Normally, I wouldn't do that with a bigger fish, but he's happy or mad. I mean, project whatever feelings we want on them. Just offset the fight here. And it should tire him out at some point here. It's funny because in the time that it takes for me to, to hook up a fish and fight it downstream and walk out of the zone and then just keep holding this fish out, the time it takes me to do that, land it, and release the fish, and then kind of slowly shuffle back into position, there's another fish or two that have taken place of the ones that have... Yeah, there's a few more that have kind of jockeyed into position, and yeah. there you go, and, so, and you've got a fresh fish. Yeah, exactly. So I don't want to... Again, I'm not going to move around too much. I'm just going to let them tire out, and that way I don't send a whole bunch of mud into the water that I'm fishing. Hopefully this is... It's a good fish. There's no doubt about it. But you'll notice that this whole time I've been sighting 
you know 12 inch fish as much as 20 inch fish and that's just real you know you, in this in this water in this light you can definitely see everything if you're in tune to, to what you're looking for here we go wicked yeah oh it's a nice fish though oh, yeah. really nice male mm -hmm. 